Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. I have a shepherd, one I love so well. How oh, he has blessed me. Don't you never dare. On the cross he suffered, shed his blood and died. That I might ever. In his love confide, following Jesus every day by day. Nothing can harm when he leads the way. Darkness or sunshine, what there before. Jesus, the shepherd, is my all in all. Pastors abundant, doubt his hand provide. Still waters flowing ever at my side. Goodness and mercy follow on my track. With such a shepherd, nothing can I lack. Following Jesus every day by day. Yes, Lord. Nothing can harm me while he leads the way. Darkness or sunshine, what there before. Jesus, the shepherd, is my all in all. When I would wander 
from the potter's tree. Then he will draw me back into the way. In the darkest valley, I need fear no ill. For he, my shepherd, will be with me still. Following Jesus every day by day. Nothing can harm me when he leads away. Darkness or sunshine, whatever before. Jesus. Jesus the shepherd is my all in all. When labor's ended and the journey done, then he will lead me safely to my home. There I shall dwell in rapture sure and sweet. Feet are the loved ones gather round his feet. Following Jesus every day by day, nothing can harm me when he leads away. Darkness or sunshine, what there before? Jesus, my shepherd, is my all in. Oh, yeah, following Jesus every day by day. Nothing can harm me while he leads away. Darkness or sunshine, water before Jesus. Uh, my shepherd is my all in all. Jesus, my shepherd, he's my all in all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. I thank you. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I praise you. Worship you, I honor you. I hope is in you, I my trust is in you. I believe in you. But I acknowledge you, O oh God, as God of creation, God, my life. I thank you this morning, another day, O oh God. I, I thank you as God, as my belief. I live within in confidence without doubt that indeed you, O Lord Almighty, in spite of your God Almighty, I still thank you, Holy Spirit of God Almighty. I'm no superhuman, dear God Almighty. I'm equally compared as human being to the extent we are in that which, dear God Almighty, there is no separated part that you have created for. No individual, dear God, your only begotten Son, Jesus, as we become followers of dear God Almighty. Dear God Almighty, in that which Heavenly Father, dear God, we as your children who would have grown, who would have into realization and knowledge and understanding, dear God, where it's not only about living, dear God Almighty, but life with a purpose, dear God Almighty. We are in that which an innocent soul in us, dear God Almighty, depend on our ability, dear God Almighty, depend on our habits and attitude, dear God Almighty, within your presence as the life that the require of us must be of God and not of us, our own choice, our decision, our own way of living, dear God Almighty, we are an innocent soul, dear God Almighty, in us is 
sir, in a place with thee, O oh God Almighty. It is not a earthly bar that have employed us into any indifferent field, dear God Almighty. We are in that which, dear God, we would have decided when to approach how to, oh God Almighty. Whoever then, dear God Almighty, oftentimes we would have become frustrated and confused fusion in this field of life oh god almighty we are in that which we all labor oh god almighty for the saving of our soul dear god almighty so confused and frustrated often time dear god almighty we would have become dear god almighty it's because of our weakness dear god almighty it is sometimes because of the inner insufficient strength oh god almighty can become because we would have slack in our ride we'd have lost focus dear god almighty we would have failed oh god even one morning no oh lord uh, to seek you pertaining to that which lies ahead of us like today oh god almighty in a new day that we know it not what today may bring dear god almighty but the god that employed us the god who have created us the god who have already ordained the god who today who know exactly each and every one of us as individual on this prior platform will be encountered with the challenges that we will we will face today he already know it and so it is for us to be first who we approach when we have oh god almighty walk up it is your lord almighty today heavenly god almighty i place my life into your hand oh god whoever oh lord almighty i'm alive yes dear god almighty but it is your life it is the power a hey, god almighty in you that has awakened me and oh god almighty a, a fuck uncertainty dear god almighty i kill everything of me dear god almighty to discern in self the possibility of what oh god almighty uh, i may encounter with uh, of the in different kind of challenges that i may face today mighty god but you know and so heavenly father dear god almighty i'm ah in you dear god almighty to to take me through god to protect me to guide me heavenly god almighty it is not my will dear god almighty but your will be done dear god almighty you know exactly why you have created me you know exactly why you have chosen me oh god almighty you know exactly what you have ordained me within this field of life to labor for your glorification and praise however often time confrontation however often time we would have been tested to the point oh god almighty to become discouraged oh god almighty to throw in the towel they would have said oh god almighty for our mouth would have opened up within the presence of others who would never expect us to react in such a kind of way dear god almighty and so through all that dear god almighty the enemy would have laid await us to test us to, oh god almighty eh, to have us dear god become like they have never been oh god almighty and to have us to become like where we are coming from we are in that which oh god almighty we are live rejoicing repentance from oh god almighty a past life into a light a life of light and newness with thee dear god almighty and so heavenly father god almighty it is for us dear god almighty to grab the possibility of that which oh god almighty and the opportunity of god life the newness life being transformed that we are live within dear god almighty no more heavenly god almighty we are uh entangled into the yoke of bondage but oh god almighty we are live within oh god almighty a repentance heart dear god almighty we are, we have been surrounded oh god almighty by the light of the holy spirit of god almighty we are no more walking in that part way of darkness dear god almighty we are we may not able oh god almighty to identify where our feet where we have left the list of our feet and to step on dear god almighty because it is in darkness oh god almighty you have not no more allow us to be confused oh god almighty because dear god almighty we have no thee dear god jesus christ you have been our light dear god almighty i thank you heavenly father dear god almighty Oh God, we're alive in newness of repentance. Dear God, we are now. It's every day we can live. 
with joy to reflect back on the point of darkness where we have merged from, where we have elevated from. God, we thank you, Lord Almighty. Believe was no more and no longer in bondage. But it's in Jesus, the redeeming one, to rescue us. And indeed, as mighty God, as such an opportunity availeth, dear God, we never refuse to turn away from, O oh God Almighty, to walk with you. Assist us, dear God Almighty, as we confess daily and we acknowledge that, O oh God Almighty, we are self insufficient and we are not able to stand on our own, dear God Almighty. But we believe convincingly that you, Jesus, dear God Almighty, who live in us, dear God, that you, Jesus, and the life that he demonstrates for us to, indeed, we can also be victorious, O oh God Almighty, through everything not equally compared to Jesus Christ, which we are no comparison to, because he isn't like us as but begotten, Holy Spirit of God Almighty. Thank you for hope in you, dear God Almighty. And no more longer hope in this world and ourselves, but in thee and thy spirit that is available to reside in us uh, as the life that uh, heavenly God Almighty will live, dear God Almighty, you will live the assurance, oh God Almighty, for the dwelling of the Holy Spirit, oh God Almighty, to refuse not from this body. O oh God Almighty, as we have lived, uh, heavenly, heavenly Father God, a life of purity and cleanness. O oh God Almighty, to host thy spirit as an assurance, dear God Almighty, for our innocent soul to be saved. I thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God Almighty, for everything that you have from the beginning and to the end. O oh God Almighty, give us hope for eternal glory. I thank you, mighty God and your Holy Spirit. As I look to you this morning, dear God Almighty, I ask for your divine coverage over each and every individual on this prior platform, dear God Almighty, who have been here and who haven't as yet joined, dear God Almighty. Bless each and every individual, dear God Almighty, in their indifferent, O oh God Almighty, spaces of leadership, dear God Almighty, where they sacrifice, where they avail yourself to declare, dear God Almighty, to announce, to proclaim us, Zach, O oh God, to lead, to teach they who have prayed, dear God Almighty, the many different testimony, dear God Almighty, that touch the heart and bring forth conviction, dear God Almighty. The many in different testimony, dear God Almighty, that awaken the mind into out of darkness, into realization, dear God Almighty. Oh, stretch your hand, oh God Almighty, upon the one this morning, dear God Almighty, who oh, avail himself, oh God, to bring forth the word. That you are 19, oh God Almighty, as you clear your Holy Spirit like a dove. O oh God Almighty, upon such a one this morning, dear God, as O oh God Almighty, as our heart in anticipation awaiting, dear God Almighty, to receive that which you are indeed longing for. O oh God, we won't be disappointed nor discouraged, but indeed, O oh God Almighty, when we would have heard such a word, Holy Spirit of God Almighty, it will bring change in our life, even throughout this day and beyond. Dear God, I pray, have your own sweet divine way, O oh God Almighty. Acts of your divine mercy, protection, dear God, as I give you the glory and honor. In Jesus Christ's name I say, Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of our holy God. Praise the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the name of the Lamb of God. Praise the name of the Son of God. Praise the name of the only for begotten father praise the name of the king of kings praise the name of the gift of god praise the name of the messiah 
Praise the name of the bread of life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the light of the world. Praise the name of the I am. Praise the name of the Savior of the world. Praise the name of the door. Praise the name of the good shepherd. Praise the name of the resurrected one. Praise the name of the master. Praise the name of the truth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the life. Praise the name of the way. Praise the name of the overcomer. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the true vine. Praise the name of our keeper. Praise the name of the one who was sent by his father. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Prince of Peace. Praise the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise the name of Jehovah. Praise the name of the one who is blessed forever. Praise the name of our deliverer. Praise the name of the power of the Most High God. Praise the name of the one who is head over all things, head over all of us. Praise the name of our one God. Praise the name of our one Lord. Praise the name of our one peace. Praise the name of the head. Praise the name of the true cornerstone. Praise the name of the sacrifice, God. Praise the name of Jesus, thou son of David. Praise the name of the one who is everywhere. Praise the name of the creator of all things. Praise the name of the Father. Praise the name of the Son. Praise the name of the Lamb of God. Praise the name of the guests at our table. Praise the name of the noble one. Praise the name of the bomb in Gideon. Praise the name of the carpenter. Praise the name of the great prophet. Praise the name of the physician. Praise the name of the sign of the world. Praise the name of the light of the world. Praise the name of our salvation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of our counselor. Praise the name of the honor of our salvation praise the name of god our savior praise the name of the son of the is praise the name the king of the jews praise the name the one who sits on the throne praise the name of the uncreated god praise the name of the one who sits high and looks low praise the name of the good master praise the name of the holy one praise the name praise the name praise the name of god Praise the name of the prophet of Nazareth. Praise the name Jesus Christ. Praise the name the son of the living God. Praise the name of the beloved one. Hey, Baba Baba Satai. Praise the name of the friend of sinners. Praise the name of our governor. Praise the name of our intercessor. Praise the name of Emmanuel. Praise the name of the Son of David. Praise the name, the Son of Righteousness. Praise the name, our Purifier. Praise the name, the Messenger of the Covenant of God. Praise the name of our Refiner. Praise the name of the one who is King over all the earth. Praise the name of the Wall of Fire. Praise the name of the Stronghold. Praise the name, our ruler. Praise the name of the chief cornerstone. Praise the name of the righteous branch. Praise the name of the hope of ages. Praise the name of the balm in Gideon. Praise the name of, of our potter. Oh God, we are just a clay in your hands and we praise your name, oh God. Praise the name of our everlasting God. Praise the name of our commander. Praise the name of the one who redeems us. Praise the name of the one who is our leader. Praise the name of our God, our friend, our savior, our maker, our director, our seal, our shield, our rock, our bread of life, our water, our oil, our myrrh. 
we praise the name of our unpredicted God. Praise the name of the one that we cannot comprehend. Praise the name of the one who watches over us. Praise the name of the one who makes intercession for us. Praise the name of the one who carries us, who seals us, who covers us, and the one who anchors us. Praise the name of the Lord. Let everything that have breath Praise, praise God. Lord. Let everyone that have bread praise God. Let everything, everyone that is grateful praise God this morning. And everyone that is happy praise God. Everyone that is going through trials praise God. Everyone who is going through a bout of sickness praise God. Everyone who is healthy praise God. Everyone who is hungry praise God. Everyone who needs a t- up this morning praise god everyone who needs healing this morning praise god let everyone who god's give break to this morning and wake us up to see a new day praise the name of our holy god hallelujah 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 praise god Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Be magnified, O Lord. You are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can't do. O Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. O Lord, be magnified. Be magnified, O Lord. Highly exalted, and there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Be magnified, be magnified, O Lord, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, 
my eyes are on you be magnified oh lord be magnified for a few moments can we all just unmute before the preacher comes on and let us offer up some praises unto almighty god can we just join in worshiping God for the I 
Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I am a good Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Wednesday blessed. Oh, Wednesday pouring out. Glory to God. And the last Wednesday of January. Glory to God. Hallelujah. January 2024. Glory to God. And we are happy to be alive and live. We are right here on the wake up list this morning. Hallelujah. Coming to minister the word of the Lord to our soul. It's no stranger to this platform. It's a Wednesday preacher. Glory to God. And I am really waiting, anticipating for the word of Almighty God this morning. Speaker is ready and waiting. Pastor Gregory Mitchell, I leave this platform in your hands in care of the Holy Ghost this morning. Over to you, man of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, um, Prophetess Let's God bless you. Greetings and blessings to you today and your family. Bless God for you once again for the charge that <clears throat> God has laid upon your life and you continue to press forward, run with the button, and refuse to, to quit in this race called life. We give God praise for you, woman of God. Continue to remain anointed as you are, and uh, God continue to use you in the tremendous ways that He has been doing. So we give God praise for all the ministering servants of the gospel. Praise God. We thank God for those who continue to lead the charge of this 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 proceeding of prayer day after day, uh, every week, every morning. Praise God, making sacrifice to rise up early to be a part of what God is doing. Indeed, your payday is coming. It has not gone unnoticed. God shall and will is going to reward you for your faithfulness and for your consistency. Praise God, the level of determination that you have um, exhibit, showing um, that you can make sacrifice to please God in, in, in ways more than one. And even through obedience and consistency, uh, God is really watching over us as you continue to serve. Praise God, even in this way, from different churches, from different parts of the world, different parishes and different homes. 
praise God, many homes uh, at times believe that uh, when you wake up to pray so early, you're disturbing. Even neighbors will tend to complain at times that you're noisy and you're disturbing their sleep every morning to the point where you can also be disrespected or even being attacked, you know, because of your constant praying. Your prayer life uh, literally can become a, a tool of, of, of our force against the enemy's device because um, prayer is what God calls us to and to be constant in prayer and to be instant because as the scripture says, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man avail it much and so we thank god for what he's doing what he continues to do and what he's doing right now we thank god for those who are listening via social media and youtube or whatever whether means or ways you choose to watch to listen in we welcome you to faith walk once again to those who are here for the very first time we welcome you and we thank god for you on behalf of um Prophetess Letts and uh, Evangelist Foster and all the pastors that are here every morning, those who have ministered morning after morning, we thank God for you. We give special recognition to you for the sacrifice that you have been making for this to be uh, continuous and to be constant every day that uh, we, we, we refuse to, to bow and to back down because of how good God is to us. We bless God for the prior warriors. We continue to pray your strength in the Lord, because indeed every prior warrior, worshipers, need people to pray for them and to worship God, lift them up in prayers, continue to step in the neck of that adversary, because he's not going to stop fighting. I just want to encourage you, that when you're going through your trials and your testings, ride out your storm, my friends. Don't give up. Don't quit. Sometimes you might feel like you would just give up this thing because of what people is saying about you or what people are doing to you. But God knows exactly that he gave the, as somebody said, the toughest part of the battle to his strongest soldiers. And you might be saying to yourself, you can't bother, you can't handle this, you know, and keep asking the question, why me, God, have to be going through these kinds of problems and stress and struggles and feeling signs of defeat. You feel like you're not winning. You might feel like you have not accomplished enough up to the time of life uh, where you are today you are counting the cost you are counting um the days and your years in this earth and you are looking back and saying look how long me day here and i know me no accomplish what i am dreaming about when it comes on to accomplishments and winning in jesus christ time is of no importance god does not bless you um, according to time, his timing is different. He does not work for us according to our time frame. He work according to his purpose and plans for our lives. And so let us just be patient with God, stay in the race, and just watch God working in our lives. You can't rush God. God work with his own timing according to his perfection and eternity as it flows. So we just have to be faithful. Uh, sometimes you feel like you're not doing enough for God, but the little you do for God is still enough to God. He just wants us to continue keep on doing more that we can affect the kingdom of darkness with what we are doing for God. People of God, I am so glad to be here today. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you once again for your presence. Uh, we join together this morning as we share this program with somebody. Lord, I just lift up your people before you. 
God, that your ministering servants who continue to minister into the lives of your people every day. The prior warriors who continue to pray over us. My God, even in our darkest hour, in the driest time, when the days seems too long and the nights, God, cause us, oh glory to God, to feel like we, we are having sleepless nights and tiresome hours and weariness and frustration, misery, and sometimes signs of I can't bother is so overwhelming that God, your people pondering, giving up and letting go and stepping back. But I pray for the spirit, oh glory to God of God, to, to hoover over us and to give us the resistance to confront the powers of darkness and to beat down the kingdom of hell and to gain victory through your name. Mighty God, when we get weary, as your word declared, do not get weary in well-doing. Glory to God, because we know that in due season we shall reap if we faint not. God, I thank you for those who are feeling as if they are the faint uh, the, 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 the fainting hearted ones and God, those who are weak and those who need strength, those who are struggling, those who are experiencing turbulence in their lives, in their children's life, in their homes. Husbands are not safe and it is painful and sorrow is so overwhelming, God, that your people have hands on their heads and hands, oh glory to God, at their, at their cheeks, wondering when you are going to come true for this matter. Situations that confront them, that is unbearable. Mighty God, today, I pray that you will speak peace to the troubled waters, the tears that they cry. My God Almighty, the, the, the days of, of, of painfulness and that pain come, oh glory to God, squeezing them in the corner. My God, and they feel like they are not going to overcome this tragedy. Hallelujah to God. Those who are, oh God, having pain in heart because of loved ones and situation concerning personal lives and agendas and matters concerning their lives. I pray today that you will handle this situation because once you are in control then god we can't help but trust in you that you'll come true for us god i give you glory for your people today remember first lady Lex and pastor Lex, my god and all the pastors oh glory to god even if we don't call them by name but god you know them today the ministers the, the warriors even the unsaved the backsliders who are online today. I put them before you, those who are here for the very first time. My God, those who continue to share the program, family members, God, they are praying for salvation in their homes. I put every matter concerned in our lives, my home, my family. Oh, glory to God, we put ourselves before you today. I put the students, the teachers, the doctors, the nurses, Oh, glory to God, the commuters, those who are hunting and searching for a job, those who are working but they are experiencing hell in their workplace. My God, those who are, 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 are praying for an increase to their salary because they have been going now for years, God, without even one dollar worth of increase. And it is hard, oh glory to God, for hands to meet because sometimes it's only one side of the, the, the relationship coming in with a dollar. And God, it, 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 the problems multiply and the burdens get heavy. Hallelujah. The reality of life, my God, come not 
king down the doors bills are there to be paid and your people are frustrated oh glory to god it makes them angry glory to god and and and, and can't bother but god i thank you that you will make a way you will open doors in their lives today swing open doors of opportunities that will create ways and means to bless your people the tides will grow the offering will increase they will be able to bless others but god if there is nothing coming in they will only have the mindset and the frame of mind to give to those who they would love to give to but god i pray that you'll continue to supply sometimes god many of us drive and persons might not know God that sometimes you cannot afford not even gas they see you taking taxi but God it's a result of the fact that the fear for the taxi can't buy gas Lord we face in the reality pouring it out at your feet so I give you praise that you will oh God open the floodgates of blessing in somebody's life today touch that pregnant mother that is going through that hard deal right now. Lord, I pray that you will have a, a, a perfect delivery. We come against any unbiblical attack. We bind you, devil, in the name of Jesus. I pray that that baby will turn right now. I pray, my God, that that woman who are experiencing the fibroid, painful pregnancy is causing my god that woman who is experiencing the endometriosis issue right now i pray over you i call you forth from the dark domain our glory to god that brother who is experiencing the, the struggle from the prostate hallelujah every eye condition every matter that is coming up before you today the people are experiencing the, the toughest time i pray over them give your praise in jesus name amen bless the name of the lord god bless you people of god as you share the program as you share today's proceeding every morning you come online and when the preachers are preaching or even before just share this program with somebody because when you wake up a lot of people wake up in the morning when i share it with people sometimes they said oh my god pastor i was so blessed I, I remember a brother, a brother Charles. I don't know if he's online. Praise God and his and his 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 his, his, his um his spouse. Uh, praise God. They they're saying they are so blessed in the morning. Uh, Minister Claudia Simpson. She said I'm so blessed. Last week, Pastor Parkinson. Praise God and his wife. They they say they are so blessed by this faith walk and many others that testify of the goodness of God and the blessing. Praise God. We thank God for Pastor Spencer and his wife, um, Sister Barbara Spencer, who are here every morning listening in. We give God praise for them. And may they continue to stand strong in this season. Pastors keep courage praise god there are times you have no one to encourage your people don't know that you need encouragement pastor let's encourage yourself my brother pastor johnson pastor althea praise god stay courageous my friends hallelujah pastors listen today we we, we know that the 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 the, 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 the office of the pastorate is experiencing serious scrutiny but in the midst of your turbulence and your affliction keep courage praise god weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning evangelist faster keep courage praise god hallelujah bishop coke keep courage my friend hallelujah we give god praise for our pastors some when, when then before we, we leave it today let's spend a little minute and just to lift up a praise for the pastors and for their encouragement glory to god because i'm telling you man the enemy is firing some darts at the churches and the pastors lord jesus have mercy only god can keep us in this time trust me 
people of god i'm telling you even when you're good people think you're bad and blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly or standeth in the ways of sinners seated in the seat of the scornful but we know his delight is in the laws of the lord and therewith does he meditate day and night oh glory to god psalms one is speaking loud encourage yourself pastors be blessed by the hand of god don't feel belittled don't give up keep on preaching dr rose hallelujah we're not going to bow there is still yet a few in sardis who have not defiled their garments hallelujah to god let's spend some time to love our pastors and encourage them please because they need it trust me a lot of pastors are worrying today but stand strong my friends god knows your work hallelujah to god last week we were looking and destroying the spirit of pride praise god and today we want to conclude upon that matter because um it is it is it is obvious that many praise god many people are struggling with this subtle demonic spirit that opposes your life and set you back in many regards and 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 we are unconscious of it um there are times we exhibit uh we 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 we, we show forth signs of pride and don't know that it is um the characteristics are one of the characteristic of pride um and so many of us at times got caught in it sometimes when i look through it i said oh my god i got caught in this so don't believe that yes. i am saying this to you and I, I i don't get caught in it as well many things because trust me sometimes the way you sometimes as christians we have to face the fact is not everybody you want to touch you it's not everybody hands you want to shake. It's not no, everybody you want to lay hands on you. It is a truth <laughs> that every Christian need to know that I know any anybody you can make lay hands on you and 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 oh, hug you and kiss you and embrace you. So sometimes you see some people and you really want to greet them, but you don't want to embrace them. And they open hands and are come towards you for an embrace. Trust me. And yes, and sir. deep down deep down inside you don't want to embrace them, them people at all <laughs> praise god and sometimes we struggle especially yeah. when you know that some people has put you through hell and and, yeah. and you're still struggling with the pain of what these people do to you and they they just make it look like nothing them never do you nothing you know and they are opening arms to come embrace you deep inside you don't want to but you know when you remember the heart of forgiveness all the goes jesus sometimes you have to do let me tell you something christian the christian life not easy you know easy to live a christian life it's not easy to walk for jesus christ in this season because some things that you don't want to do the christian journey forces you to do it and it makes you feel guilty because if you don't do it you're going to feel less than a christian and you will feel like you did an error against the plan and purpose of god because of your christian work a lot of things that we don't want to do and tell ourselves that i am not going to do this the christian journey forces you to do it not that it is bad or it is evil, but this is me. I know that Pastor Johnson or Pastor Parkinson or Dr. Rosa or Pastor Williams, you're not going to just run out in the street and everybody around and hug up, hug up, hug up, hug up, hug up, hug up and a squeeze, squeeze and kiss, kiss and all these things. No, no, no. no. You're not, you, there, is a, there is a demarcation line that you draw on a personal oh, basis. I know that. Tough certain things you don't accommodate you don't allow but some people just think that it is okay to do it because you and them are friends you know but for the christian paul says come out from among them and be he separated touch not the unclean things glory to god so last week 
as we were looking at how to, to be peculiar you have to be peculiar woman of god that's the word exactly i was searching for it you have to be what jesus say you are peculiar the priest could not allow any and anybody to touch him because you can be contaminated because of a touch hallelujah to god not that you would want to touch everybody but ah god you're covered by the blood but you have to be peculiar the christians must mix but don't mix up and today we have a whole ton load if i should say it like that my, my friends say a whole bag of mix of people in church today and and so we have to be on the side of peculiarity show forth yeah. the christ and 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 everything no sir praise the name of the lord we have to be peculiar because we are royal priesthood so let's be like the priest when you're going into the presence of god you, certain things you can't say certain things you can't do certain places you can't go certain people you can't allow them in your circle but the good thing that i i remember i said this to you on prayer line when people draw a small circle to exclude you draw a bigger circle and include and include them say that again when people i, I want to say this for the pastors let me say this for the pastors and if if, if, if the brethren connect with it uh, run with it if people because a lot of people don't make you their favorite you know when you're preaching there are some people who don't want to hear you preaching they, they you are not their pot of, or cup of tea at all and and so you still have to be the pastor even though there are members who really don't believe that you should be their pastor so they draw a small circle to exclude you you being the pastor have to draw a bigger circle to, in, to include them and that is painful for some pastors because you know the lady don't like you and you still have to pastor her and the thing is that she don't love you but you have to love her you are not her favorite but you have to make her your favorite they are giving you hell but you have to give them heaven they are not feeding you but you have to feed them that is painful because to know that somebody don't like you and jesus is saying you have to love and forgive ah yeah yeah how much time jesus hey 70 times 7. jesus is not easy but let's go through the, the what we we were talking about last week this um this faith work prayer line i want you to know that is a place where you have been fed you can't go hungry you can't be broken when you are a part of faith walk prayer line because there is enough coming from our pastors that is feeding us now the spirit of pride is a subtle demonic spirit one that is it, it, it is so destructive and today we want to look on seven results of that spirit of pride seven results but last week we were talking about Leviathan, his self-preserving attitude. We were looking at how he caused you to be unable to flow in the spirit. Um, Leviathan caused you not to be flowing. He is the king of pride. Yes, and, and I told you that pride brings destruction and it brings curse causing a person to do error you made blunders and mistakes according to psalms 119 verse 21 god's res re resist the proud and he give grace to the humble in james chapter 4 verse 6 the fear of the lord is to hate pride and arrogance proverbs 8 verse 13 hallelujah god attempts to hide pride from man through dreams and job 33 verse 14 to 17 sometimes sickness is the result of pride oh lord that one is serious sickness sometimes is a result 
of pride let's say let's use an example if you are having the flu and you don't have the money to purchase the medication to block the, the virus attack because if you feel signs of the flu coming you can take some medication yes you are a prior warrior but you can take some medication and you can block that sickness because you bossy <laughs> oh lord have mercy i have to say it like that because you bossy and we full ourselves sister let's meet you on the road and you know say you broke nothing on go on and on, you really need some medication but because you both here are full of yourself we now say to sister let's sister no, let's no 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 go on you know sister i mm. feel like the flu i come to mash me down yeah. and i can't afford a panadol multi-symptom but me out here and you know that god sent her in your direction that that i know that god could speak to her to bless you god could have spoken to her to bless you you know but god sent her in your direction that you can step in this the neck of pride kill the bossiness and ask her for help and sometimes we turn down god's blessing because of pride we don't want to ask and the bible said ask and it shall be given but pride black your blessing oh god almighty this spirit of pride is a demon to growth and development he will cause you to suffer and make you look here you will see sister let's i love some african skirt that this woman of god wear uh, sister Shady radical you will see her uh, I, what if you are 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 desperate in need of an eyeglass let's use it at, let's look on the side of pride where our skin is 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 important you 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 are struggling with eye problem your are skin for prior but yet god sent a sister in your direction who have six eyeglass put on at home that can work for you how you know what ask because you both see you feel say yeah, no that's not this not feel say you shame for ask cars hear you to yourself but i mean i want nobody embarrass me yes sir <laughs> Me no want nobody embarrass me. I I I go 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 call call up me name. Say eh, every, me a beg. It's not beg you. It's God and and not God gives you the opportunity to meet the person who's supposed to be your channel of blessing this is the doorway and we pray as a god open doors for me and god send a door to you and you make the door pass you you walk down the passageway jesus have mercy the door sister let's is here god send the door to you and bring you right to the door for you just to ask or knock the door and you don't knock the door and you walk past the door and i say god Take long to come to and look how long you are pray. And you just walk past the door. Have mercy, Jesus, have mercy. We have to be sensitive as to where God is leading. I am not saying you must tell people your every problem and that you must throw every burden pan pan Dr. Rose. But God sent her as a door right in right in your face. The, the time when you were feeling sick. And you could just say, Dr. Rose, that time, who to tell? She have 10 dosage of Panadol multi-symptom in her bag. Walking down the street. And, and, and you don't know that it was in her bag. She's not telling you because that's not her place to tell you because we didn't have a conversation about it. But God can touch her again and, and cause her to hear that you are stuffy so god can work different ways he can allow her to pick up that you are struggling with the flu and he and she will ask you but you you sound like you catch the flu man and you said oh my god sister 
I feel like me are dead. You know, I'm struggling. I should dip in her bag and take out the panadol and give you. I said, take this. And and you know what? See a piece of money here. Buy some, some liquid. Buy some Gatorade and something. And you didn't ask. So God can work in different ways. Today, we're going to look at this. So pride is destruction and destructive. And sometimes sickness is a result of pride you know why nobody embarrass you so you're not nah, big nobody nothing i find your barn your mother tell you say you know if you beg beg beggy beggy is different from asking asking jesus so you have to know that all right so in job 33 19 to 26 god is able to abuse a base sorry to abase those who walk in pride to bring them down the spirit this spirit of pride blocks your prior life blocks your prior what a wicked demon he blocks your prior life so much so that when you pray your prayers does not reach the destination because he blocks your prior life he blocks your worship and a lot of times we are church and your pastor say praise the lord lift up your hands and give him glory and because you're full of yourself and we bossy and we too nice you know why lift up your hand because you're afraid of what people are gonna say when you lift up your hand have you ever seen same praise the lord and some people and look around look around like them don't know where they are lift up your hands and praise god that's why when we see them something not going right me i get mad in my spirit how me i say listen people the spirit of drowsiness and laziness will come and sit upon the believers and make and then they go away and say whole oh, church dead and whole oh, church heavy it is you the spirit of pride manifesting are you are the one who heavy and yet you go tell your friend lad church was so heavy today are we heavy down the something we are the ones to be blamed heavy down the church because you don't like the pastor and the pastor is not your favorite and you like pastor let's but you know like pastor let's wife or you like the wife but your spirit not to take the husband so when the wife is praising you lift your hand but when the husband is praying you sit down and look there is favoritism and we have to cut that out because pride will cause you to manifest those kind of way and so we have to change now let's do a self-investigation check myself lord do i have hang-ups with sister let's if you have an issue with her you need to repent because you're traveling and struggling with the spirit of unforgiveness and unforgiveness is a demonic spirit that comes from other spirits in the in the in in in, in the demonic groupings and the chain reaction of the influx of demonic activities so you have to check ourselves we have to check ourselves to see if i'm battling with unforgiveness if i like the husband but my spirit don't take the wife that's a demon get rid of it pride always lead us to a place to brag we can't do that pride is the root of sin it is the sin that causes us to exalt ourselves over others and over god himself and it is the <laughs> it is the antheist the antheist of unselfish love God repeatedly reminds us that he resists the proud. We see the proud or the pride in full color in the life of Haman, in the book of Esther, and the predictable outcome of the arrogant life of this man Haman, who pride caused him to lose his life. <laughs> and and full of himself and become so selfish that he thought that only him <laughs> you know some people have access to the prime minister <laughs> like like some politicians i'm not beating them down but i'm saying when they have access to the prime minister them go on like them better than anybody else 
And you know, I don't talk to local people. I don't have to talk to you. You need to. And that's why we are praying that God will allow the leaders of the church and the religious institution to rise to governmental um, um, ranks. That the, 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 the country will be run by spiritual people like the bahamas praise the name of the lord hallelujah when we have spiritual people you see what god did to joseph god raised him up to the place where the country can be run by a man of god who is hearing from god and is walking in the precepts of god pride my friends number one always lead us to brag Number two, pride is never satisfied, is a greedy spirit. Number three, pride leads you to do really foolish things, some real foolish things. Pride, number four, will make you want to eradicate everything that bothers you and keep you from being exalted. Every person, everything and every circumstances pride makes you want to eradicate everything that 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 bothers you and keep you from being exalted every person everything every circumstance number five pride make you assume everyone is interested in you make you feel like because you are in your position you feel like everybody is interested in you not everybody Come is interested on. in you no sometimes sense. you see some people sometimes you see some people and they laugh with you they are not interested in you at all they laugh with you and they they they, they even give things to you and even shake your hand and hug you and 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 say nice things to you I, they don't really want to because <laughs> this this thing the, living this life is not easy number six pride always backfires and that's the one that many people don't know that bossiness no peer and selfishness pride backfires at all times uh maybe many persons experience it and they are nudging them head today and that's how they get rid of the spirit because the backfire sometimes you know that people think that job's wife was proud and when it backfires on her she said to her husband curse god and die because she know what them hot girls out of the road because she was a hot girl herself because her husband a rich man and she can drive what she want she live in the nicest house around here and the clothes that she wear did not bought at hurry hurry or bashko or, or down a chinese shop she shop at, at macy's don't you know it's online job's wife shop don't you know that she wear lord and taylor the cologne that she wears comes from lord and taylor and was made in italy at chancellor's or 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 chance chanel or phantom or or the the most expensive brands and and every time you ask her um i like your cologne she's going to tell you you know how much i paid for this one i did not ask you that i just simply say i like your cologne i didn't ask you how much you pay for it it's very expensive you know people that brag you have to watch them people you know because oh, it will backfire God. people of god we don't have to show off and nothing we don't have to show off and people we don't have to, to, to tell them what you have or what you own <coughs> or nothing and that's why a lot of persons are afraid to testify today when god start to bless you sometimes you testify about it it sounds like you're bragging but it's not brag you're bragging you're just glorifying god for his provision but there are persons who will think that you're bragging and you're bossy no sir mm -hmm. god give you the visa oh, and you testify about your visa i know brag you brag it's testifying you're testifying 
Because the truth is that a long time you are wait and many disappointments mm -hmm. you get, how enough 30,000 you spend, and you, you mm -hmm. then turn you down. But now you get mm -hmm. your visa. You just feel like you want to share it, the joy with the mm -hmm. people online. So bragging in the negative and bragging in the positive. So testifying make the, the thing sound like a brag, yeah, brag. But it's not brag, you're bragging. You are simply testifying of the goodness of God. Number seven, pride will kill you. Oh Lord, pride will kill you. So, oh yes, sister. See a piece of yam for Pastor Lex for me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Bless God. Please mute your mics, please. All right. So let's let's look at this very carefully. Pride gets no joy unless one is recognized by others. Pride makes you always want others to know all of your accomplishments. Then Haman re, um, recontinued to them the glory of his riches and he number of his sons, the number of his sons. And every instance where the king had magnified him and how he had promoted him above the prince of the servant of the king. Haman also said, even Esther, the queen, let no one but me come with the king to the banquet which she had prepared pride caused that and tomorrow also Haman declared I am invited by her with the king according to Esther chapter 5 verse 11 and 12 so pride always leads us to a place where we want to brag at times pride never satisfy a proud man always want more recognition for he always seek to be at the center of everything every focus must depart me and everything is all about me and i i i, I have to talk to a pastor a friend of mine one day i said listen man humble yourself man humble yourself when if the man have on a suit he start to tell you you can't afford him a suit any master May I tell you, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one of these suits because you need to wear these suits, Pastor. Them suits that you feel wear and put on them jacket. Listen, man. I want to bust you. The man said, I'm going to bust you for one of them suits that we may have, have because I did your suit here around the place. This is what you must wear. Listen, it's not the suit glorifying God, it's the person. And what God is interested in is his glory coming to him pride makes you stupid because he has god the source of wisdom opposing him a proud man forsake all reasonings and makes ridicule ridiculous decisions Haman wanted to eliminate people who wouldn't worship him and is the same spirit that herod was after pride never satisfy yet all of this does not satisfy me Haman said every time i see mordecai the jews sitting at the king's gate in esther 5 13 the pride of Haman stores up inside the demon erupted jesus of mercy people of god let's let's open our eyes and watch develop our insight and let us check ourselves let's throw down ourselves before god on the altar daily and ask god to flush our lives because it is subtle this demon undermines and is subtle he will creep upon you and you don't know but we pray that god will assign angels over us hallelujah to keep us from this demonic attack
Because sometimes we are attacked by the prince and the powers of darkness through this subtle demonic influx and we don't know it. Hallelujah. Then Zeresh, his wife, Haman's wife, and all his friends said to him, have a gallows 50 cubits high made and in the morning ask the king to have Mordecai hound in it then go joyfully with the king to the banquet holy ghost Jesus and the advice pleased Amman please him to kill God's people Saul's spirit man, come on. So he had the gallus made. Never know. Said the same trap where he must set for the people of God. He was building the fringe for himself in Esther 5 14. People of God, pride make you want to eradicate everything that bothers you and keep you from being exalted. That's what Haman was conveying. That's what he was practicing. That's what he wanted to do. Eradicate every person, to eradicate everything and every circumstances because you alone want to be seen. You alone name must be called. Are you upset when, 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 when Dr. Rose call your name? And you know what this spirit of pride does to many of us as preachers? If Pastor Let's is having a convention, let's let, let, let's look at it in the real authentic way. If 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 Pastor Let's is invited to a, a convention or a, or a, a, a ceremony that many preachers Morning. are. Even if you don't know everybody's name, if you ever go on the platform and yes. don't call names and give recognition, them hate yes. you. I say, how you come up there and at him? Look here. Look here. And, and it is happening to some church brethren and preachers. If you visit a church and the pastor don't call your name and recognize you, in the don't name of God, do not feel upset with the pastor. Because sometimes pastor that him he overlook you sometimes and when you finish preach you say lord god that me never say no me never big up dr rose but that time dr rose don't the vex because she come to your church how you don't recognize her and you don't know that dr rose have her doctorate and she have her phd and how, how i come to your church and you don't know who i am you know listen we care full of yourself you have to selfishness and pride when you go to visit some place. If somebody don't recognize you, don't make that spirit no. come in your head. Don't let him enter your, your head. If you allow him in your head, you walk from the church feeling upset with the pastor because he did not give no recognition and call you to greet. What if, and so what? I don't care if they don't want to call me to greet. I didn't come to greet, I come to get a word from God. I come, I, I can just come and sit down, enjoy the fellowship with the brethren. Some preachers, if you don't invite them by your pulpit, Lord Jesus, have mercy, Ooh. my God. Ooh. And they they upset with you. I mean, I go back because I'm a god and they not even say dog. Look here, man. Don't let pride. <laughs> don't let pride. Don't let pride. Don't let pride. Please, people of God, let's fight this yeah, thing Lord. together. Good word. Good word let's fight it together let's join forces together and investigate if people of god hear me out if you see pastor mitchell you know that sometimes you walk past some people on the street and you're looking in their direction but you're not looking at them and you walk past them and did not see them hear them see you the next time me no know what me do you you walk past me and looking at my face and not even call to me yeah. I did not see you, my sister. I did not see you, my brother. Come in now, Pastor. Tell them again, Pastor. Tell them again. Sometimes you're looking in their direction and you don't see them. Holy Ghost Jesus. And they think, they vex with you and start give you attitude. Say how oh, you walk past them and nothing. Say, dog. 
I can't I'm not going to be like the world and say dog, but you know that's that's Jamaica way of saying howdy. This my mother always say, You walk past me and not even say dog. And if you did ever say dog, they would say you call them dog. Holy Ghost Jesus. So we're not saying it like that. Um pass them and said hello. So if I don't see you and didn't call to you, don't be mad with me. I did not see you. So let me apologize for passing you and never say hello. <clears throat> I didn't see you. Please pardon my transgression. All right, people of God. So pride leads you to do really foolish things. Pride leads you to do some foolish things. Pride will make a man stupid because he has God, the source of wisdom, opposing him. A proud man forsakes all reasoning and makes ridiculous decisions <clears throat> like Haman did when he wanted to eliminate the people who don't want to worship him. Number four, pride makes you want to eradicate everything, every person, every circumstances that you believe is not bowing down to you. Number five, pride <clears throat> makes you assume that everyone is interested in you and you see where everything surrounds this man and want to destroy the people of god let's look on the backfire when pride backfires the dangerous effect of the backfiring of the pride that one exhibits in his life how could your life possibly be successful if you are opposed by god if god determined <clears throat> like he did to jeconiah in jeremiah 22 30. god said mark this man down mark him down <laughs> hallelujah to god god said mark him down this man jeconiah hallelujah none that comes through him will be blessed you hear me none of his descendants is going to sit on the throne of david to rule over it they will never get such privilege hallelujah to god none of his descendants will sit up on the throne so god black the source of blessing that is coming upon that man oh lord i'm looking for the verse for you my friends hallelujah hallelujah to god I am trying to find this man, Jeconiah. Hallelujah, Jeremiah. Chapter 22 and verse 30. I'm looking for it to make sure I'm at the right place. Hallelujah. Thus said the Lord, Jeremiah 22 and verse 30. My brothers and sisters, praise God. Hallelujah. Apostle Nicole. God bless you, woman of God. Jeremiah 22, verse 30. God, black this man and make sure that nothing no go on for him. None of his descendants, nothing that flows from him. Jeconiah is his name. Glory to God. Look at verse 30 of Jeremiah 22. Uh, Thus said the Lord, Write this man down as childless, not even children. He will never father a child. Hallelujah. A man who shall not prosper, Holy Ghost, in his days. You can imagine God is saying that. Come on, people of God. God tell Jeremiah, say that. Jeremiah, a man who shall not prosper in his days, for none of his descendants shall prosper. Can you imagine? That was pronounced over your family lineage. No, don't bother sit down there now and wonder if God pronounced that over you. Why you can't afford certain things. Your time is coming. All right. Sitting on the throne of David. Nobody from his family will never get that chance. 
hallelujah and and to rule over judah anymore because this man is a relative of jehoiah king who misled judah and caused them to end up in 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 exile praise the name of the lord hallelujah praise god and god put a dent upon his family family lineage and none of them is going to be able to rise to a place of prosperity because of what one man did so people of god let's rise up because we don't know if our four parents had pride and spirits never die know that god has transformed our lives and has saved us any man being in christ is a new creature but sometimes we have to rise up and break some things that pass down through generations that we can be able to survive because sometimes you did not do the wrong but ignorance of our four parents get involved in witchcraft and the spirit want to come upon you because nobody breaks it you f- lord of mercy your four parents were divorces and have b- abusive relationships and and bad things happening to them cancer kill your great grandmother and cancer kill your grandmother and cancer kill your mother that doesn't mean cancer is going to kill you come on people of god rise up and break that spell in the name of jesus prior can shake the foundation of evil and overturn the chariots of every attack that is coming in your direction let's not take this thing lightly your prior life is a powerful part of your surviving people of god let's always seek to destroy interrupt disrupt break up root crush mash up flash off everything that is pronounced are handed down to you through your generation god need you to survive what occur up the head of the stream must not affect you because you block it and de-channeled it so to it that whatever flows to you must be clean not because it was stored up in a dirty way at the top of the stream you better ask god god split this river and cause what is coming in my direction to be clean whatever is dirty send it in another direction and last it in the valley glory to god pride my brothers and sisters is destructive if you have found favor in your sight if i have found favor in your sight O king and if i if it please the king let my life be given me as my portion my petition and my people as my request for we have been sold i and my people ah god to be destroyed esther hallelujah is talking to the king because she recognized hallelujah that the enemy want to come in and to invade the the the, the space of the children of god queen esther hallelujah how could your life possible be successful if you are opposed by god god opposed Ammon. god set up a roadblock hallelujah when esther called the three days of fasting and prayer hallelujah the devil loses corner teeth glory to god there is a bullet coming in his direction that he did not see and the prayer that the woman of god sanctioned the heavens with and the people together one shall chase a thousand but two put ten thousand to flight come on queen esther replied if i have found favor in your sight O king and if it please the king let my life be given me as my petition and my 
people as my request for we have been sold and i and i, I and my people to be destroyed to be killed and to be annihilated no if we had only been sold as slaves men and women I would have remained silent for the trouble would not be oh glory to God commensurate or commemorate commensurate with the uh, annoyance to the king Holy Ghost then King Ahasuerus asked Queen Esther who is he judgment is in the path people of God who is he the king asks, Hoy, Jesus, and, and, and where is he? Hallelujah. The, 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 the spirit of God, man, is searching for that devil because somebody made a request and the voice of God's servant has been heard and God set up a roadblock against the chariot of the adversary. Holy Ghost, who would presume to do this? Lord Jesus have mercy. Tell me which demon is messing with you. Which spirit is coming in your house? Hallelujah. Show him to me. Who would presume to do this? Esther opened her mouth and said, A foe and an enemy is this wicked demonic proud Haman. Then Haman became terrified sitting right before the king right there in the banquet hall sitting with his his fat neck and big wallet and high mind and full of himself i can just imagine looking at esther oh glory to god a woman of god with the demon rising up in her man while queen esther was opening her mouth i could hear heaven speaking through the woman of god coming out of fasting hello some of you have just finished your 21 days years of fasting and listen man god has filled you with fire and power don't let that devil get away this time it is your season to rise it is your time to shine don't let nothing try to overpower you or overthrow you because the hand and the fierce of god is against him that do evil how man is in your life i know some of you he is uh, you, you are experiencing the workplace harman jesus have mercy a long time they want you to lose your job but the hand of god is against that a long time them why you die but the hand of god is against it a long time them want to see you coming out to nothing they have gone so far to build gallows for you they have spoken it from their mouth i wish if the boss could have just get rid of you but in the name of jesus i heard the sister yesterday say how them try to get rid of her but she purpose in her heart say me now left ya i who know if you leave me here because you know come here come see me praise the name of the lord sometime god put you at a place and elevate you to a position and the wicked harm and spirit in some people who just come were overthrow you come on the people of god it happened in the pastorate it happened in the congregation sometimes they see you doing well hallelujah and bad mind your work come on the man oh sister let's oh pastor let's oh dr rose oh pastor Alti oh pastor johnson oh you just come and everybody just love you everybody is all about you everybody is for you i know the one who used to be the top become the assistant because yes. god replaced such a one glory to god i know that god begin to use you god to you give you new strategies okay. give you new ways how to conduct matters concerning the kingdom how oh, because you are a person full of the whole 
Holy Ghost, man, have God in your soul, working in your corner, manifesting through you. You have Holy Ghost power, but the one who was before you have no Holy Ghost. So you're leading by the Spirit of God, not by yourself, not selfish ambition. God is going to use you. God is going to uh, um, speak through you. God is going to use you in ways more than one that you can't even imagine. But here is a group of people. Don't know what you're carrying. Don't know who you're walking with. Don't know who is employed to bear you up in their hands. Hallelujah to God. People must be careful how they mess with you when you are in God's hand. They don't understand. Paul said, let no man trouble me for I be here in my body the mark of the dying of the lord jesus christ glory be to god they don't know they're messing with fire they don't know they're messing with power they don't know they're troubling your angel they don't know that you're covered they don't know that god have your back come on somebody they don't know and pride is going to cause them to think that they can mess with you oh because you're humble you know talky talky them say oh you're so sad silent a sneaking you're sneaking they don't know that you're a sharp shooter you kill demons in silent you don't have to say a word because greater is he that is in me glory to god i feel this thing man than he that is in the world and you don't have to say a word because god is bigger than the might of the adversary holy ghost jesus god is bigger than the power of hell and the god that is reigning in you and through you is mightier than the greatest power of lucifer oh you don't hear me people of god so let them fight you all they want they are not fighting you they are fighting the god that is in you and god said ah oh, glory to god they are the apple of my eye and nothing shall pluck you out of my hand some people tell you that look here you soon left you so i feel left you so i feel run we left here you now left here in the name of god in the name of jesus christ you shall remain there until god's timing is perfected in your life some people believe say you must submit and bow down to them because they are now in charge no sir i the god in me will not bow to the demon in them amen somebody the god in you will not give you access to bow to the devil that is manifesting in that manager who is trying to 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 use you and to lie on you and to abuse you and to accuse you when you do right they make you look bad like you're doing wrong no sir god is gonna show up god is gonna speak god is gonna recompense god is gonna sustain and he going to bring you out people of God you just need to keep on praying the God that you serve he delivered Esther when her man desired to take her out and Esther said a foe Lord Jesus and an enemy is the wicked Haman then Haman became terrified can I tell you your righteous Holy Ghost self is going to terrify some enemy Lord Jesus have mercy I can see them running I can see them being beaten down I am seeing them being defeated the gallows that they have in set up for you I'm seeing them being hung in the same gallows they thought that pride was the order of the day but look at pride backfiring jesus it makes them assume that everybody is interested in them but god is gonna bring you out god is gonna deliver you how oh, go with to god party five party five. wife is coming after you but god is gonna favor you and you gonna come out they lack you up in prison but you're coming out sisters you're coming out brother the situation seems dark and it feels hopeless but god not sleep he never slumber my god am i talking to somebody this morning god is going to bring you out
hallelujah to god the foe man the wicked foe is in the house full of pride but god not sleeping let's try to conclude this thing as i touch the last point which pride will kill you pride will kill you don't let pride destroy your life don't let the spirit of pride kill your spirit no sir you may not be hanging on the end of a nose like Haman, but pride will always lead to a deadly result hallelujah so they hanged Haman and the gallows which he had prepared for mordecai according to esther chapter 7 verse 9 and 10 it would be wise to check your heart to see if this Haman spirit is residing there check let's check our hearts let's check ourselves turn the searchlight inside deal with it quickly by humble confession and deep repentance it may save you from a gallows hallelujah it may save you from death road it will preserve your life if we begin to check quickly humble confession deep repentance three things deal with it quickly humble confession deep repentance deal with it quickly humble confession deep repentance it may save us from the gallows father show me the groundwork of my heart where has the foot of pride entered my life show me lord the pervasive invasion of this primary sin help me to humble myself under the mighty hand of god give me an overwhelming gratitude knowing that anything good that has happened may my in my life has come by your hand god i refuse to do like leviathan i refuse to go off trap as you begin to throw off and dismantle spirits that operate within the spirit of rejection know that your both with pride will be the tortest of them all or the toughest of them all sorry it is at the root of our fallen nature it goes deep into the spirit of man but you can win though not without humbling yourself before god and seeking him for deliverance you will not win against leviathan in your own strength you can't people of god let's fight this demon spirit leviathan the leader of the demonic group he is an high-ranking spirit he caused you to rebel and so i want you to know today that there is life for a look at the crucified one does your husband feel intimidated by your spirituality does your wife feels like she can never measure up to your expectation of what it means to be good do you often complain about whether your health your circumstances your job your church do you like to talk about yourself too much or 
more concerned about your problems, your needs, your burdens than about other concerns? Do you worry about what others think about you? Too concerned about your reputation or your family reputations? Do you neglect to express gratitude for little things to God or to others? If you refuse to do that, pride is there. Do you get hurt if your accomplishments or your acts of service are not recognized or being rewarded? If you get hurt by that, pride is in you do you get hurt if your feelings or opinions are not considered when your mate or your spouse or your boss is making a decision or if you are not informed when a change or decision is made you get mad do you react to rules do you have a hard time being told what to do? You don't want nobody to talk to you. Leave me, make me do what I want to do. Me know what you do already, you know, if you tell me again. Are you this kind of person? Are you tempered up easily by simple instructions or corrections? Do you back answer? ruffle oneself shake my shoulders stamp my feet hiss my teeth snap my finger or turn my eyes over at the point of correction are you self-conscious because of your lack of education or natural beauty or your socio-economic status do you avoid participating in certain events for fear of being embarrassed or looking foolish pride is somewhere there do you avoid being around certain people because you feel inferior compared to them don't feel you measure up pride is there as i close when is the last time you said these words to your family member friends or co-worker i was wrong would you please forgive me if it's been more than a mouth make it down or mark it down don't let pride take the better part of you father i thank you for today i give you praise for this morning's presentation lord i pray that we will begin to search deep within ourselves to make sure that this demonic spirit that we have seen destroying other lives setting people back oh glory to god causing sickness causing pain, making some acting foolish, causing us never to be satisfied, always lead us to brag. Lord, if it is anywhere in us or close by, I pray that you will shield us, cover us under your blood, give us grace for this journey, hide us in the secret of your pavilion, Put your hands over us, cover us with your feathers, and under your wings we will trust. Bless your people today, I pray. Give them grace to make it in. Thank you that the spirit of Haman has been hanged on the gallows. And God, we eradicate any further attachments, any encounter, any communication in the spirit realm with these kinds of spirits that want to swallow us up we break their powers today by the mighty hand of jesus christ and the blood of jesus we cancel their assignment now cover this prior line 
and thank you for speaking into our hearts in jesus name amen god bless you my friends god bless you i feel free and i know you feel free too god bless you thank you for your sacrifice of being here today god bless you back over to you madam moderator in the care of the holy ghost praise the lord god bless you pastor mitchell humble confession deep repentance this is one time i don't think i need to ask us to ask the holy spirit to search us because we know ourselves right as we are we find i find myself guilty and if every one of us would be truthful this morning we have been guilty in some way or the other where pride has entered into us and i think this is the moment for us to confess our sins to god and to repent and at this time i ask us all as long as you can open your mic and let us confess our faults to the lord he said if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and we do all need a cleansing even now hallelujah let us all join in as we pray humble confessing our sins to, God, to repent and not to turn and do it again but to repent and turn away from sin let us pray hallelujah Father, we come to you. We confess our sins to God. We are guilty before you. Somehow, God, we have allowed the spirit of pride to enter into us. And we are asking you even now, Lord, to forgive us our sins. We repent. We should not have done it, Lord. But we are confessing God. God, that we see ourselves guilty before you and ask you, Lord, to forgive us. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, hallelujah, to turn from the spirit of pride, which goes before destruction and a heart is spirit before a fall. Oh, God, help us to take heed to ourselves, lest when we think we stand, we fall with glory to God, my God, we are looking on the and we can see the things in all that and not after the blessing. 
Hallelujah, because he said if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let us be like that leper returning and telling God thanks for offering us forgiveness this morning. So as you have opened and repented, so I'm going to ask us to open and give thanks to God. Hallelujah. For hearing our prayer and for accepting us in his brotherhood once more. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for your loving kindness and for your tender mercies that you have bestowed upon us this morning. Oh, glory to God. If it cannot be for you, 
you on our side where would you be we thank you God that you have been here all the time and you promise that you will never leave us nor will you forsake us we thank you God that your loving kindness is greater than life thus will I bless you hallelujah thus will I praise you thus will I worship you hallelujah hallelujah because of your loving kindness ah, because of your tender mercy hallelujah you are worthy of our praise you are worthy of our thanksgiving this morning hallelujah because there is none like you you are glorious in holiness you are fearful in praises and you do wonders there is none like you thank you God thank you thank you thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah for being right at our side hallelujah for hearing our cry for answering us Lord for making us whole and you hallelujah we give you glory we give you honor we praise you hallelujah we adore you we exalt you we magnify you worthy is the lamb that was slain even before the foundation of the world worthy 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 is the lamb hallelujah we glorify you we adore you thank you Jesus all glory and honor and praise belong to you hallelujah 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 praise God sister CD I'm going to ask you to pray for pastor Mitchell that the holy angels will surround him and every trap that the enemy has been setting at his feet we fly it in Jesus name we come in agreement hallelujah and we stand with you as you pray for the man of God as he has delivered the word he is free hallelujah hallelujah from the message that God has given to give him to give his people he has delivered hallelujah that there be no counter attack sister CD go ahead and pray for the man of God that's the spirit of God. Which one of the say the media is you, so you, 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 right there. You, you. <laughs> okay. When you say the media, I will know. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord
Father, you step on his radio, God, in the name of Jesus. Cover his family, Almighty God. Cover his ministry. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, from the crown of his head into the soul of his feet, Almighty God. Lord, God, protect him, oh God. Put your protection, shield, and barrier around him, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, God, Almighty, give him strength, Almighty God. Lord, God, we thank you for your word, Almighty God. Thank you for your throne. It's your profound, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive my part, Almighty God. And Lord, that three times, oh God, we have a pride and we don't even know it, Almighty God. We become so prideful, Almighty God. And Lord, God, as you deliver your word, Almighty God. My God, I pray, God, that you will have your own way, God. Have your own way, Almighty God. Lord, hide him under the shadow of your wing, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I feel your blood over him, Almighty God. Whatever situation, oh God, and circumstances, oh God, that may face him today, Lord God. I pray, God, that you will match up every plan and every plan of the enemy, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I thank you this morning. Lord, I thank you for your man servant, Almighty God. Lord, I thank you for everyone on this fire line, Almighty God. Lord, I thank you, Lord. We give you praise this morning, oh God. Lord, God, we give you glory this morning, oh God. Lord, you're an awesome God. You are a good God. Oh, Father God, this morning. Lord, God, make your blessing continue to be upon him, Almighty God. May it overtake him, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. Protect him, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I praise you this morning, oh Almighty God. Lord God, you are your shield and butler, Lord God. You are his backlog, Almighty God. So, Lord God, this morning, oh God, Lord God, I could stay and listen to him all day, oh God. Almighty God, but this morning, God, you know everything this morning. Lord, touch everyone on this fire line, oh Almighty God. Lord God, let us receive your word, oh Almighty God. Lord, we hallow your name this morning. What a good God you are. What an awesome God you are. Thank you for pastors. Thank you for preachers. Thank you for leaders, oh Almighty God. In the name of Jesus this morning. So Lord God, again, once again, Lord God. Lord God, I ask you, oh God, that you will, oh God, protect, oh God, grant it, oh God. Pastor God, we meet you under the blood, oh Almighty God. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, lift him up, oh Almighty God. Let he stand, oh Almighty God. And Lord God, when he have done all, oh Almighty God, help him to still stand, oh Almighty God. Lord, we thank you again this morning. Bless him continually, oh Almighty God. Strength him, oh God, as he studies your word, oh Almighty God, and come forth with it with clarity, oh Almighty God. Lord, let our heart be receptive, oh Father God. So Lord God, I place him and his family again in your hand. Cover him in his vehicle, oh Almighty God. Cover him on the road, oh Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you thanks, and I give you praise, and I give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.